Okay, in this quick tip, I just want to talk about solo safe settings in Pro Tools and how they can be really, really useful. So I've got like the simplest session I could think of setting up to begin with. So I've got this plugin called Boom, and it's uh, like so basically this like Pro Tools drum machine, really, really simple. If I press play, you can hear that it's going on. So that's currently going out of inputs one and two out of the main out of the main speakers. Um, what sometimes happens is say I wanted to route this to an auxiliary track, say I had like a couple of other tracks that I wanted to route to an aux track. I'm gonna route this, the input on this is bus one, so I'm gonna route this to bus one. So what I, what happens when I, when I press play is that it's gonna come through. It's all fine. But say like we had like a few other tracks we wanted to solo solo the, the session. What happens when I solo the track is Pro Tools is saying that this is a track that needs to be priority. And because this isn't on solo safe, it's actually cutting this track out completely. So even though we can see the meter, we can see that this track here isn't set up to actually hear the audio. So even though the meters are there, it's being cut out because we haven't got this um, in solo safe mode. So the way of actually changing this around is going and press holding down command on Mac and then clicking on the S. The other thing that you'll notice as I'm doing that is you'll notice that this has actually now become grayed out. So it means that the solo um, doesn't get affected. Whereas when I press it before, you've noticed on the mix of you, the orange button there is, is coming out. So as soon as I do that, it's cleared. And this can be really, really useful when you're looking at auxiliary tracks. Say like you run all your drums to one folder and you want to solo a drum track. Um, you can press command, if you press command and click, that'll actually sort that out for you. So that's a really, really simple quick tip for you guys. Um, hope that's helpful. If you like the videos, please subscribe. I've got another playlist about the Pro Tools quick tips, which will have loads more in there. If there's anything you want me to see, give me a shout as well, and I'll see you all again next time.